Like we said before, this uh, segment, this show, is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can watch and wager on NFL games, college football games, just about anything sports-related at any of Tunica's five, soon-to-be six, incredible sports books, Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Sam's Town, Hollywood, First Jackpot, and opening soon, Fitz Casino. Not bad. Get more information at tunicatravel.com. Let's talk about the NFL playoffs. Fire away. How did, we didn't even talk about this. How did you set these up? Like, do you have your wild card teams, and then, or did you do it by like division? I like got, it. I, I don't know how. I didn't make it that complicated. I made a list: AFC, the four four division winners, <laughs> and the two wild card spots. Okay, okay. We, we can get down with that. I didn't know how scientific I needed to be. Well, that's I. I went super detailed in mine. Wow. So, uh, do we want to do like? I mean, uh, I could do like what my seeds are pretty easily. Okay. Um, they're probably in order of how I have them. See, I've got like who wins in the wild card round. Oh, geez, I've man. got who wins in the divisional round. Oh, I look, I'm going to yeah. give you my playoff ranking. Let's, let's just then, do that. And then we'll I'm going to give easy. you my Super Bowl winner. How about let's, that? Let's go with that. All right. Uh, let's just do the playoffs. All right. Uh, read me your AFC first. AFC. I have the New England Patriots. Okay. Number one seed. I have the still San Diego to me chargers. <laughs> I have my. Cleveland Browns, and then I have the Tennessee Titans. You got Cleveland at the three seed? Hell yeah, baby. Good. Got it. Okay. Okay. And you got the Titans on the four seed. Who are your wild cards? This was where I struggled. I really wanted to put Kansas City in because I think they're going to be a lot of fun this year. I mean, you got them at 10 and 6. How how are you going to miss the playoffs at 10 and 6? I got Houston at 10 and 6. I got Denver at 10 and 6. I got Houston and Denver. Man. And see, I had to go through and like, Figure out tiebreakers. No, and all I'm kind just of stuff. Picking, look. I'm just guessing that if the record worked out right, I got it right. Okay, that's I've got. <laughs> so number one seed, I got the Steelers. Make this nearly that complicated. <laughs> I got the Steelers at thirteen and three, number one seed. Okay, I got them over the number two seed Patriots, who I also have at thirteen and three. But I got the Steelers winning that game at home. Titans, the three seed at eleven and five. I got them winning the tiebreaker over the Texans, uh, and then four seed is the Chiefs at nine and seven. My five seed who is our first wild card team, the Texans at 11 and 5, and number 6, the Broncos at 9 and 7. I've got the Chargers just missing out because of the AFC tiebreaker. Yeah. That's it. All right. So, uh how do we want to do this? Uh let's I'll do my NFC. How's that? Oh, oh, oh. Who do you got coming out of this division? Well, I mean, do we conference? want to do that or do we Who do you got? Just give me one team coming out of the conference. Don't I've got, give me the don't give me the breakdown. Don't give me how they I got, got the there. Steelers. I believe in the Steelers this year. I think this is their year. I think this is their last year. I got the Chargers. You got the Chargers in the Super Bowl? What is... I'm I, being honest. I'm being honest. I'm not being a Patriots fan. I'm I'm being honest. I the think Chargers? I think they're that good. I think okay. this is. I think this I, is. Rivers I should year. expect this all from of, you. All every of the quarterback. Year. All of the quarterback. No, you should just assume that I'm just going to say Tom and. and then well, no. It, yes, I'm train. with you. But like, there's always something like crazy that nobody expects. I mean, I, there's some people picking the Chargers. I think. I think this Dang. is Rivers' year. I th- absolutely think the other two quarterbacks that went in that draft have Super Bowls. He doesn't. I think he. I think he makes it there this year. Whew, okay. Let let me jump in my NFC. How's that? Yeah. Number one seed, the Rams at thirteen and three. Okay. Number two seed is the Vikings at twelve and four. My three seed is the Falcons out of the NFC South. They are twelve and four. Uh the Vikings, of course, get that tiebreaker to me. Uh number four, the Eagles, uh, out of the NFC East. And my wild cards, the Saints at eleven and five, and the Packers at ten and six. I got the Saints. My number one overall seed, I got the Vikings just under them. Um, I got the Rams. I got the Giants. Two wild card teams I have, the Carolina Panthers and the Wisconsin Packers. (laughs) The Green Bay Packers. You know how much I love Wisconsin. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, Who you got coming out of – out of that division. I got the Saints. I've got the Saints and the Chargers. I've got the old school San Diego quarterback room rematch or I guess get together. Well that would be a storyline with And it? I've got Drew Brees riding off into the sunset, getting him his second ring. I've got the Vikings and the Steelers. I would love 
I would love that Super Bowl, though. I would as well. I, that is old school. And I will tell like, you this. I haven't really liked a team. So I, I've got I've got two teams that I love. One let me, let me go on and tell you who I've got winning. Oh, first. yeah, I'm sorry. You haven't done that. I apologize. I've got the Vikings winning the Super Bowl and Kirk Cousins getting his first ring. That's that's pretty amazing. That would be an unbelievable That would be story. great, right? Yeah. Like, Because we always talk about these teams that are like, well, they're just a quarterback away. That's right. Like, this is the situation where I really feel like they were just a quarterback away. They're the best team from top to bottom, in my opinion, in the fo- in the NFL. They, I, I they really so. are. I think, I think if you take coaching and talent at every position, I think they're the best across the board. I like this team a lot. Yeah. Like, that, like I, I've got the Saints. I think there's some – maybe this is just stupid logic. Revenge factor that – they they had it just ripped from them last year just because of <laughs> complete insanity, uh, and and they they just they're gonna find a way to make sure they win that game and then they come out on top after that. This Minnesota team to to have like no connections. I'm not gonna pretend to be a fan and I've loved him forever. I I like Mike Zimmer. I was furious he wasn't hired as the Browns coach years ago when he left Cincinnati. <laughs> I was I was absolutely screaming at anybody who would listen to me talk Cleveland Browns football. Why is this guy that we've gone through 19 coaches in 7 years? Why are we not giving this guy a job? Um and uh I like I like that Vikings team a lot. It would not upset me to be and wrong. He, on and he and he proved you right. He proved you right. Got to think he's good. All right, it's the Super Bowl. I've got the Vikings over the Steelers, and you've got, uh, got the, the Saints. Saints over the Chargers. We both got NFC teams winning. Yeah. Huh. Interesting Super Bowls, nonetheless. Now, if my Patriots win, I'm not going to be upset at all. There you go. <laughs> I'll, I'll be a little hard to deal with, but I won't be upset. That is uh, That wraps up our NFL previews.